Hello, hope you are fine. I am Nabil. Today I am going to show you some tricks to avoid pressing continuous reset in ESP32 module. We have seen in lots of ESP32 module that you need to press enable button continuously while you are uploading the code. But this is very annoying. What you can do is just add a 10 microfarad capacitor between this enable and crown so that you don't need to continuous pressing of an enable pin which save you lots of time so you can here you can see the complete how i did it just simply added 10 microfarad capacitor this is a positive uh, side and this is the ground side uh, you can add uh, this like that also so here is a very convenient way here here i am actually testing a sp32 standalone circuit uh, so i ha had no uh, standalone chip i ha i have ordered few chips uh, from china but it will arrive after maybe 10 or 15 days but uh, so what i did just i removed the chip from a module and then uh, i made a circuit here to implement it the, uh, the, the process of the implementation is first i applied hot gun back side of the module so that uh, this is very important because if you apply uh, very much he heat uh, in the front side the chip may be destroyed to avoid this i applied heat from back side and after applying uh, 400 degree celsius um, air uh, from hot gun it removed easily just uh, within one minute uh, maybe 40 or 50 seconds then i placed the chip here you can see then what just focus okay now it focused then i applied a resistor this those pins are actually resistor here you can see those pins are actually resistor resistor pin uh, so I insert a resistor from beneath of the circuit Then I first soldered one side of the resistor pin here. Then I remove cut cut it the uh, re resistor then With fine tip solder tip I soldered uh, the pin uh, ESP32 to here uh, this is not necessary uh, maybe this might not be necessary for you if you have the breakout board to test this standalone circuit but uh, as i already said i have no uh, breakout board uh, for testing this standalone design so that i had to do this you, you might not uh, need this and here is a solder tip that i have used for this purpose so, so and i have applied a then microfarad capacitor it enable and ground so you can you can find the data sheet esp32 uh, data data sheet then um, you, you can apply you don't need this circuit anymore i'm just test for just test, test purpose i uh, actually find some pin from find some jumper wire i attached some jumper wire and then I connect it here but you don't need this module you just need a FTDI uh, just uh, your say USB to your module to upload the code from code the upload uh, I am uploading here in TX0 and RX0 so this is today's video I hope you have enjoyed this video thank you very much